Senator Marsha Blackburn sits on the Senate Armed Services Committee and joins me now. Senator, thank you very much. You have been pushing this uh, warning again about the China situation longer than most folks down there. Where do we stand now? This is the big retaliation we were bracing for. What happens next? I think what you're going to see is we're going to continue to tighten up on China. I thought Secretary Pompeo did a very good job with his remarks yesterday. He said distrust and verify. And Charles, we have to keep in mind that China has used COVID-19 as the accelerant in their 100-year marathon. This has been their goal, to make the 21st century, the China century. And they have our relationship with them has been too cozy for too long. It is imperative that we begin to unravel that relationship. It is very important that we close these Confucius Institutes. You're just talking about the scientists that are being arrested. They're coming here to our academic institutions. They are all part of the Chinese Communist Party. They are stealing trade secrets. We cannot trust them, so close those. It's imperative that we deal with China when it comes to trade, when it comes to production and manufacturing, right. that we begin to turn this critical infrastructure manufacturing back to the U.S. It's interesting that you would mention uh, the, how uh, COVID-19 has interrupted or hastened their plans, because the irony here is the rest of the world finally Senator Blackburn is waking up. Australia pushing back, leading over 100 nations in the world. You know how tied their, their economy is to China? For them to bravely stand up and say, no, we want to know the origins of this virus. We want to know what kind of harm you created to humanity. And around the world, we're seeing more and more nations stand up. My feeling, though, is that China is going to get desperate, and that might lead them to do desperate things. Well, they probably are going to move more to a state of desperation. You're exactly right. Look what has happened. And people have put up with China lying, stealing their intellectual property, stealing their trade secrets, reverse engineering. And it is almost as if with COVID-19, they many nations around the globe have hit the tipping point. They are tired of China with their human rights violations. People see what is happening with the Uyghurs. They have watched what is happening in Hong Kong. And God bless Boris Johnson and the Brits for saying, hey, come here. We've got your back on this. They see their aggression with Taiwan. And China is becoming a preeminent issue in this year's campaign cycle. President Trump has been very tough on China. He made it part of his 2016 campaign. And I'm talking to people regularly who are now saying, I'm probably going to vote for Trump again because he did what he said he was going to do to China. And I realize what a bad actor they are. And Charles, it doesn't matter if it yeah. is consumable, if it's uh, semiconductor chips, if it's pharmaceuticals, people are saying enough is enough. We need to bring that manufacturing home or share it with our allies. But China is somebody that we need to unravel yeah. the relationship and move away from. Senator Blackburn, thank you very much. Appreciate it.